Hello everybody, I'm making cabbage and a lot of times we make cabbage and we feel we have to put the meat, the pork in it but I'm going to show you how I make it and make it without, I don't put any meat in it, I used to but you don't have to, you just get your head of cabbage I'm going to cut it up, I'm going to add a little bit of oil, cooking oil salt free seasoning you don't especially have to have this but you can add it I'm adding it seasoned salt a tiny bit of pepper black pepper and I may add a little bit of onion you don't have to you don't have to add that but what you really have to add especially is the oil and the seasoned salt if you want to leave the other things out, you can do that. So I'm going to cut this cabbage up and I'll be right back and show you. I am back. I cut up my cabbage. I'm bring the camera closer so you can see it. And I like my cabbage kind of thin. You don't have to make it exactly like this. If you like it more chunkier, then that's how you do it. Just make sure that you wash your cabbage off very well before you start cutting it up and everything and so now I'm going to cut up a little bit onion to put in it so I'm going to put just a tiny bit of onion because I'm not that crazy about a whole lot of onion and food I'm just going to cut up that much to put in there. Cut that up. This could be left out if you don't like onions at all. Another thing I forgot to add is you're going to need water. Now a lot of people drown out their cabbage with so much water and it be so limp and just soggy and not very good. So I'm going to put a half a cup of water. I may use a little bit less and that will give it a nice crunchy taste. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put three tablespoons of your vegetable oil in there put it in my pot I'm going to pour a little bit of this water in Take the salt free seasoning and just sprinkle it a little bit in here in this pot. Just a tiny bit. And take a little bit of the black pepper, just one little sprinkle in there. Take the seasoned salt little bit of sprinkles in there with the water and everything. Don't put too much because you don't want it too salty. So now I'm going to turn my I'm going to turn it down to low and I'm going to put my cabbage on top here and what you're going to do is it's very easy to make a lot of people know how to make it already 
but you're going to let it simmer, I'd say for about 15 minutes. Then you're going to take the, take the top off and you're going to stir it so all the seasons and everything get mixed in good. I have it at the bottom right now. I'm just going to put this on and I will come back and let you see how my cabbage looks and everything. You can eat this alone. You could add carrots to it if you like. Or you could eat it with, you know, your regular meat dishes. I'm making chicken with it, of course. And then tomorrow I'm going to eat this by itself. So I will come back with the finished cabbage and let you see how it looks. I also forgot to add that you don't want to overcook it. You just make it where it's a little crunchy. You taste it ever so often to see how it is, but you don't want it soggy tasting or overcooked. So this is what my cabbage looks like, and it's done. Um, like I said, check every 15 minutes. It took about 25 minutes, but like I said, I want you to test it out, taste a little bit. If it needs a little more seasoning, you just add a little more seasoning to it. And I'm frying my chicken. I decided not to do that on camera because so many people know how to make fried chicken. But if you would like to see the recipe, if you like, would like for me to cook it, then I will do it. So this is what my dinner looks like. There is the cabbage. That's my fried chicken. And that's some cornbread that I had that's left over that my daughter made. So, if you guys want the chicken recipe, I will cook that, but like I said before, most of y'all know how to cook that, so that's why I only did the cabbage on camera. So I will talk to you wonderful, beautiful people later. Bye.